You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Yes. Am I speaking with the director of Grand Petrol Chemical Industry Limited? Well, this is His Royal Majesty, Igwe Ojemba of Ezulu Kingdom. I want to ask you for a little favor. For my daughter, the princess, to be absorbed in your company as a staff. Oh, yes. She came out with first class. And she studied abroad, too. <laughs> What do you expect from a royal princess? Thank you very much. You see, this shows that our relationship is still very much intact. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm grateful. So tell me, how has it been, I mean, in school without your sister? Anyway, I, I have been trying my best, but it hasn't been easy, you know. Well, it was like that for me at first when I started. You know, but with time, I'm sure you're going to get this too. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. The Prince of Izulu came down. Yes, mother, and as you can see, the prince and the princess of Izulu Kingdom are having a very platonic conversation and wouldn't want to be interrupted. Wow, but I am not here to interrupt. I'm here to announce to you both that the dining table is set. So shall we? <laughs> yes, we shall. Thank you. Give him some, some, some good You guys food. are looking good, Joe. Thank you, Father. Oh, really? Wow. 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 Oh, really? <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing just fine. It's all right, I'll do that. Okay, you take care too. And don't forget to call me when you're done with your exams. Is that clear? <laughs> it was a joke. Bye. <laughs> Come on, sis. Do you realize that you're distracting me? <laughs> oh, gosh. I failed it. Oh, uh, really? I shouldn't talk again because you're playing games. I don't understand you. Mind the way you talk to me. I am the prince of this kingdom. You have to accord some respect to me. I am the king of this kingdom. You have to accord some respect. I fail to realize that I am the princess of this kingdom. What do you say if I take this phone from you now? You have your quarters. You better go back to your quarters. Come, I don't understand. What is your problem? Hello. Hello. Oh, mom, you're here. What's going on? <laughs> Don't tell me two of you are about to fight. No, we are not. Mom, you really have to talk to my elder sister. I don't like the way she instructs me. Oh! Daughters. Don't you realize that you are sitting before the prince of a Zulu kingdom? Oh, yes. oh I totally forgot. I'm so sorry, the <laughs> prince of a Zulu kingdom. Oh, I mean, your highness. <laughs> That's my mother. Okay. It's okay. I know what happens. No, to you're me. still the best. You're still the best. <laughs> Love you. Love you too, mom. I'll be upstairs. Okay, okay let's talk to you guys. Take care, mom. Okay, okay. bye. If not for the fact that you're my elder sister, you wouldn't be here. You know that, right? Oh, really? And that doesn't stop me from still drawing your ears because I'm your elder sister. Is that clear? <laughs> <laughs> you're trying. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
looking for you everywhere inside the palace. Why are you here all alone? Your father just got her a job and she traveled to fix it up. She will say how back and will say how okay? I just I just miss her. For lunch, yeah? Just in case anybody comes around to look for me, let the person drop the message with you. I'll be back in a chief. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. I am very sorry, alright? Sorry for invading your privacy. Okay. Um, my name is Nick. And you? Well, I'm Princess. I can see you walk here. Well, I am into estate management, right? And I do most of my transactions uh, in the office close to yours. I've seen a couple of times walk in and out of this office, so I said to myself that I would like to know this pretty, charming, adorable princess pair. I mean, what do you think? Well, I don't think this is the right place, neither is it the right time. As you can see, I'm going out for something very important. Maybe some other time. Alright, sorry, uh, please, pardon my manners, okay? So, do you have a business card or something? Call I don't think that's necessary, like I said, something. Good day, my beautiful princess. Good day. And how may I help you? I thought I should be offered a seat first. No, not at all. Why? Because if offered a seat could bring forth a subject which I am not ready to give listening ears to. So I suggest you say it's standing. I'm still waiting. Come on, my princess. Um, seriously, I thought courtesy demands you. You don't teach me about courtesy. Because I have perfect understanding of what courtesy is. In most cases, my dear, courtesy doesn't really count. Because if given a chance, it could send the wrong words to the right ears. And that is exactly what I am trying to avoid right now. Well, Princess, I think you're being so fast in decision making, and that's not fair. <laughs> Well, bro, life itself is not fair. I already know what you want to say, 
and my answer still remains same. I am not interested. Well, uh, Princess, I guess you're not in the right frame of mind to discuss now. But seriously, I promise to make it up to you later. How about the lunch? I'm date? still not interested. Thank you. Well, 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 I think you're not in the right frame of mind. So, I have to take my leave and hope to see you some other time. Probably when you're in a better frame of mind. Right? Have a nice day. our post-primary education. My dear, it, it's been tough here in Nigeria. Ever since our years in the university, I've been going from one office to the other, looking for a job, and nothing seems to be coming out of it. Success is for you. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. So there's this one I'm trying to get hooked to it. Let's see what happens at last. Oh, I see. Well, I hope something good comes out of this one. <laughs> Amen, oh, my dear. Amen. Oh. You mean to tell me you stay here all alone in this house? Without a million to help you out? Yes, I stay all alone. I specifically told my father that I want to be alone. 
I mean, so at least I could get used to the house chores. My darling, I will be married someday. How do I explain to my husband my inability to cook, to clean? I mean, I keep the house tidy. <laughs> you have a point, guys. <laughs> yes. Well, my darling, you're welcome to my house anytime, any day. Mm. I'm saying that you should make this place your second home. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the room you said. Oh, <laughs> drink <up. laughs> Thank you. Okay, we need chairs to yeah. more life, yeah. happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how has it been? Mm. I mean, you know, life and Young lady, I have gone through your file and I must say you have a very impressive credential. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for the compliment. You're welcome. In that regard, I'll direct you to the human resource uh, manager. So you go meet him, he'll put you through the ropes and uh, tell you what more you need to bring and tell you what is required of you. I would love to tell you that you have been offered employment on provision do with this firm. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. You can hurry up and meet him in the office, okay? So you can get to work. <laughs> so you mean you got the job after all? Yes, my love. I couldn't believe it myself. After going through my CV, he gave me the appointment automatically. Oh. This has been my heart desire and thank God I made it at last. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness, you know what? This is oh. just for celebration. Oh, please bring it on. Bring I'm it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't remember I'm giving you an invitation to my office. And how did you get into my office without my secretary notifying me? Well, uh, I had to lie to her that I had an appointment with you so she could let me in. And do you know this silly attitude of yours could actually cost her her job? I mean I could fire her. Oh, come on, my princess. I should be blamed for it, right? Not her. Okay? Um, don't forget so soon that I've visited this office quite a number of times and my face doesn't seem hostile to her anymore. You have to seek your consent before letting me in. Well, Nick, or whatever you are called, what exactly do you want? A launch date with my princess, and I'm okay. And I told you that I am not interested. I mean, why have you failed to understand this? Now listen to me. This girl you see sitting right here, it's not, I mean, we'll never be ready for you. So I suggest you jump to the next girl like you men always do, and leave me alone. Oh, Princess, I take an exception to that. Listen, Mr. Nick, you are invading my solitude and I find that very unacceptable. As you can see, before you walked in here, my friend and I were having a very important discussion and we would like to continue. So, Princess, are you by any chance asking me to leave your office? I wouldn't want to repeat myself. All right, uh, I will leave, but... Uh, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that I care about you. And I also want you to have it at the back of your mind that I would not reciprocate your care. So leave me alone. See you some other time. Stop touching me. Bye. And hey, what do you mean, bye? He's so cute. <laughs> Just think, who was that? One of those silly boys that always after. Girls, you know, then you jump into your life and jump out and leave you have broke. But babe, seriously, that was rude. Did I hear you say rude? Yes. Well, my dear, I don't give heed to your advances anymore. You know why? Because this attitude of theirs just reminds me of the past. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, Mr. Andrew, please. You have to put yourself together, okay? Please. Nick, what's this? 
You might not be the only woman in this world, like you said, okay? But you found the qualities that we want in the world, right? Look, I promise you I won't go back on my word. There are millions of women out there. I mean, with even greater qualities. Why don't you choose one of them? How are you today? Oh, fine, my dear. And you? Uh, well, I'm good. I've been out of the office. Uh, yes, I'm just coming back from a business transaction I went to execute. All right. <laughs> uh, well, do you mind hanging out with me for lunch? Hmm. <laughs> Why not? Okay, no problem. See you then. Okay, that's great. I'll come pick you up then. Alright, see you. And be good. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Princess. Do I know you? Are, are you not princess? Of course I'm princess and 
Oh my god, it's you! My princess, call me my princess. How are you doing today? Please, what kept you so long? My princess, I'm so sorry. You know, we, we had test that kept us still this time. You know, and I came back late, so I had to sneak out so that my uncle would not notice. You know, I'm sorry, my princess. Please now, put a smile on this face. Mm -hmm. Smile now. Sorry. Sorry, my princess, smile. Ah! Wow! Eh? That is why you are called the princess. Okay, one more, one more, one more, please. Please stop. That's enough. Man. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> My princess, I'm really sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm sorry. So, tell me, how was your stay with uh, your Royal Highness and people in the parish. It was fine. And as a matter of fact, I had a sort time with them. Uh-huh. And he needed to be there, Chris. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, don't worry, my princess. I promise next time I'll make it up to you. Okay. Yes. I really missed you, my princess. I really missed you. Okay, so I'm here. What do you have for me? What do I have for you? Mm -hmm. Anything? Everything that can make my princess smile and happy, I will do it. So tell me. Something like what? Something like. Uh -huh. Oh, that smile. <laughs> I love that smile. I love that stop smile. Please stop it, You won't stop making it. Yes. Listen to me, my princess. If seeing you smile all the time will make me happy, I will. <laughs> I'll continue to be a funny boy. Please <laughs> stop. So, what? What next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really missed my princess. Mm -hmm. I really missed you more. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I okay. want to do something to you now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That thing you usually do to me, like the oh, and I'll do it again. Oh. <laughs> Since you had better stop shading these tears of yours and tell me what transpired between you and my GM few hours back. Me, I I came out only to see you running. What really happened? I. <laughs> Please talk to me. What really happened? When, when I saw Chris, I couldn't believe it. Oh you had better believe it. And tell me who he is to you. Who? He says, can you talk to me? Talk to me. Who? That, that is the same guy. Why? That is a guy that 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 impregnated me when 
when I was still a teenager. No. No. This is an expensive joke. Come on. Princess, this is an expensive joke and I'm not cut out for it. Tell me, I am not joking. I am serious. I was Chris. You mean my... My... My boss? Yes. <laughs> you can't be serious. Yes, I am serious. I mean... I told you about that's Chris. That's Chris. Same. The same. Oh. would not solve an inch of this problem. We just have to accept it in good faith. Because God knows best. How? 